Okay, picking up in part two, here's uh, Apple side. Now here's um, 10 liters. So this is about two. There are four liters to a gallon. So you're talking about two and a half gallons, or two gallons, etc. Um, and you can buy these uh, pretty much anywhere. And um, if you're going to take baths with it, get it. You don't necessarily, you don't want to buy expensive stuff. As long as it's pure, uh, this is, I believe, organic, it's fine. You don't want anything with additives in it. You don't have to buy very expensive apple cider vinegar and then bathe in it. Uh, I found that, the, you know, this is very cheap commodity here, so you can get it very inexpensively and get a high quality of it. So you can measure it or not. I generally, as I said, I put in uh, about two liters, I was, um, two quarts. Other than that, I mean, you're really not getting, I mean, if you're not putting that in there, and of course, don't wait until you're sick to do anything. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. You should be taking monthly baths with this in it. Uh, this does clear out your system. Apple cider vinegar has miracle effects in the human body. And by taking it in through the skin, it should help. Um, clears out your kidneys, your livers. It's really great stuff, and people should be actually uh, taking it every day internally with water and lemon, uh, about two tablespoons. But this is a big bath. Now we're filling this up. This is about the height you want. I don't know if you can see that. What is that, about five inches? Now that's really hot water in there. Now if you had that up to the top, you would... Uh, I have a problem with super hot water. It's no good. I don't think it's good for your system, shocking it. So when you sit in this, it means it's going to cover your legs and your legs will get adjusted very quickly. Then you can move your torso in if you want, but once you're comfortable in there, then you turn on the water and fill it up to the level you want. I find this works fantastic. And all the time you're letting your ozonator go. And again, these are inexpensive. They're usually $50 to $80, and they have multiple uses. Uh, I used this during the pandemic. I would put this in my closet and turn it on with my clothes hanging there in case there was whatever was going on in the mythical land of disease. And this is going to get rid of stuff. It, it also gets rid of odors. Uh, and you can use this for anything that has odors or other problems or if you're in a, um, a bacteriological environment that you're breathing in, well, you can zap it. Great tools to have and they're inexpensive. Of course, safety. This is up and out of the way. Plenty of this water is going to get to it. I have it on a little glass stand here. The plug is way over here. As I said, there's my little um, distiller going. And everybody should be doing that as well. But you have to charge your distilled water uh, using uh, crystals and other things. And I've shown some of that. And I'm going to show you my new upgrade of that as well. So what I put in here as I put the spiritual bath salts, two tablespoons, on crossing, protection, there's health. And then I poured in what is approximately uh, about um, two liters, and I've been using this, so I know it's not around. There's about two liters of apple cider vinegar in here because I want a strong bath. I don't uh, want something that uh, is not going to work as well. Uh, you want to make sure you use enough. And again, everybody's their own biological entity. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you that. This is what I do. This is my personal opinion. Go slow if you have problems. See what happens. I've tried it slow and I didn't get any results. Uh, so I want to up this up. And the same thing to go with any sea salts or anything else. Um, the same thing even with bleach, uh, your Clorox bleach. Uh, you know, if you're not using at least a cup, why bother? Once you use a cup and you find that it's okay, uh, I would go up personally. That's what I do. I would go up to two cups. <coughs> Again, you're getting a lot of oxygenation. You may not even need Clorox bleach. Uh, it's money. It's a chemical. If you're using this, which you had uh, little uh, interest in, this may do the job. But again, you're talking about very old technology from a very old system. She did talk about ozonators, I believe, which are not new. Um, they've been around for 30 years and were out there being marketed. Uh, so I don't know what that is and how that uh, reality of that goes. Uh, but uh, for you, um, 
of how that affects the water, how we can test that, I have no idea. But I always add it in, and you can never get enough oxygen. Basically, this helps the apple cider vinegar uh, go into your actual um, system. And it is only oxygen, so it's really not a big problem. Now, once you sit in here, and again, that's up to you. How long do you want to sit in there? Um, as I said, she states to sit in there for about 20, 30 minutes and then cool down. I find that to be ridiculous because you'll basically be in there for over an hour. If you want to do that and follow the instructions uh, to the letter, that's up to you as well. So do keep that in mind, but that's all the essentials. Make sure you're filtering your water. Make sure you have filters. Make sure you are taking care of the bacteria with the actual ozone. Of course, the acidic factor of the apple cider vinegar is going to kill some bacteria. But do we know? I don't know. Has anybody tested it? You're just going to get a big container of apple cider vinegar or large amounts of the sea salt uh, and um, baking powder. What is it? Sodium, I uh, forget what they call that. I've got a bag of that in there. Uh, so you want to get a big bag of this stuff, it's in expenses, and of course you want to repeat this. You should be doing at least two baths a week, and you should be doing this for at least a month to see if you get any results. Well, hopefully that's been a lot of help. Make sure you watch the safety of getting in and out of your tub. This can be very dangerous, especially if you're sick and not feeling good, if you're old, etc. And of course, make sure all of your uh, showers and everything else have your filtration devices on them like i have one here and of course we have the same thing up here so nothing bad is getting through my systems and it just seems to be smart to me i spend a lot of money on different health items and supplements it's a little ridiculous to ignore your baths and i did that for years um taking showers in toxic shower water uh while spending hundreds of dollars on supplements a month so keep these things in mind. This is your 101 course of how to take a correct bath, and this should serve you well. Until next time.